God bless our troops. God bless America. And gentlemen, start your engine! here with Dan from the Hartford Yard Goats in Hartford, Connecticut. And so I have a couple of questions, three specifically. First off, can you tell us why should you come to a Hartford Yard Goats game? Well, it's a great experience. First of all, the baseball is a lot of fun, and the ballpark is one of the best ballparks anywhere. There's so much going on in addition to the baseball game. There's entertainment. There's the mascots. We have an actual goat pen beyond the wall in center field where the kids can go and pet the goats. It's always giveaways, and we have the best food anywhere. Dominic, there's so much food in this ballpark, and you name the cuisine, we've got it. And we have refreshments, too. So that's one good reason of many to go see the Hartford Yard Goats here at Duncan Park. And if you could give us some more insight, uh, how do you come up with some of the like promotions or some of the different things you got going on here, kind of like you mentioned? Well, one of, the, one of the things which makes Duncan Park so attractive and the Hartford Yard Goats so attractive is they try to interact with the community as far as the various promotions. As an example, uh, the Hartford Whalers used to play here. They're in the National Hockey League. This has become an annual event, Whalers Alumni Weekend. So a lot of the former Hartford Whalers players are here, along with their great broadcaster, Chuck Caton. That always turns out to be a big promotion. Another big promotion we have, again, interacting with the community, we have a uh, nonprofit organization in the community that focuses on helping people who may be having problems 
save their lives. And we have a big promotion on Sunday with that. And uh, that'll be taking place where we'll have what is known as Scooper Sunday. Fans will come out. They'll buy ice cream. There's going to be a big setup in the second deck where you can get as many ice creams as you want from the various vendors in the region. But what it does is it also focuses on what's going on in the community for people, for example, who are, who are struggling and need help, particularly from a perspective of uh, maybe having some kind of mental illness. We honor the military every night. That's another big thing. We have our Hero Among Us Award where every night we recognize somebody who has served in the military or is a first responder. Last night this ballpark was filled because we had our annual first responders night where we recognized those who work in public safety, those who are working, for example, for, for ambulances, who are EMTs. I can go on and on, but that's just two, three, or four examples of how every night when there is a ball game here, this ball club tries to interact with the community. All right, and then to kind of also branch off of that one, can you give any more examples? I feel like you just covered a lot right there, but about the community impact the Yard Goats have. Well, for, uh, for many years, people didn't come into downtown Hartford because there was no baseball team. Now, there was an arena across the street. They would come in to watch a basketball game, a hockey game, or a concert. But for we have 69 home games a season. Those were 69 dates that people did not specifically come into Hartford, particularly those who are baseball fans or were looking for affordable family entertainment. So now... People are coming into downtown Hartford who didn't come into Hartford before, in addition to those people who live in Hartford. There's also been development around the ballpark. There's a hotel, uh, ho uh, an apartment complex that uh, was built beyond the wall in right center. In fact, the top floor is actually a terrace where you can call this a mini Wrigley Field. People come out on the terrace and watch the baseball game, and there's going to be more development taking place around the ballpark where there's a parking lot now on the other side of first base eventually there's going to be a mixed use development of uh, retail and apartment complexes so uh, all of this is leading to a renaissance as far as downtown hartford is concerned that's what this ballpark has meant mm -hmm. all right well and thank you very much for your time and you are officially the first person to do a video interview with us but Thank you very much. That's all I have for you. I'm honored. Thank you, Dominic, and good luck.
At the 2-2. And Harbin rockets it high in the air down the right field line. Fernandez gives it a look. That ball's way out of here for Tyler Harbin. Bombs away. Hey, homer number 23. Wasting no time on this Friday night. 